Intercape says heads must roll. The long-distance bus company has obtained three court orders forcing police to provide escorts and maintain visibility at hot spots. To date, Intercape has opened nearly 200 cases after their buses came under violent attacks, some of which have been blamed on the taxi industry. They have since asked the Eastern Cape High Court to jail the national and provincial police commissioners for contempt of court. CEO Johan Ferreira joins me now for more details on the story. Mr. Ferreira, thank you for your time this morning. Let's perhaps go back to the incidents that caused you to get these court orders asking the police to escort your buses. Kennedy, good morning. Yes, that's correct. So we have, in fact, uh, written to the state president two years ago, to Fakile Mbalula, who was then the uh, National Minister of Transport, and Becky Chele, Minister of Police, and we forewarned them about these attacks. And we said to them, if you don't act and help us and speak out on this matter, then you will have blood on your hands. And indeed, this morning, they do have blood on their hands because one of our drivers was gunned down in broad daylight, and he died, you know, and, and, and others were seriously injured, passengers were injured. And uh, so we had to go when we see, when we saw we had no joy with the, with the state president and the ministers, we had to go to court and ask for assistance. And Judge John Smith was very direct and he gave a, a great judgment. And uh, in that judgment, he, the, the police were compelled to escort the coaches and to be visibly present at the bus stops and protect passengers, bus drivers, and property. So unfortunately, this has not happened. And we have given it our best effort to work with the police, given them all the information about the arrivals and departures, the routes, the bus stops.